Most everything that you probably learned about human civilization in school is back. To get some context on this, let's go ahead and first talk about the traditional story and traditional timeline. For most of human history, we were nomads, hunter-gatherers, moving in small family bands of maybe 20 to 50 people. We followed mammoth herds in winter, salmon runs in spring, gathered berries in summer, tracked deer in the fall. We never stayed anywhere long enough to call it home, except it's wrong. The evidence that breaks this model comes to us from a site called Kabarna 4, located in the Azraq Basin of Eastern Jordan. Teams from the University of Cambridge and University of Copenhagen have been excavating Karana 4 since 2008, and what they found was a settlement occupied by hundreds, possibly thousands, of people simultaneously. We're talking structures, organized living spaces, communal activity areas, and signs of complex social organization. The site dates to between 19,000 and 14,500 years ago, confirmed by multiple dating methods like radiocarbon, stratigraphy, and tool typology. This time period is called the Epipaleolithic period, or the Late Stone Age. These people had stone tools, but no pottery, no metal, no domesticated crops, no domesticated animals, except maybe dogs, yet they were living together in a dense, organized community. Now here's what the archaeological evidence shows. The site covers about 21,000 square meters, over 5 acres, bigger than three football fields, or freedom units as somebody said recently. Excavations revealed hut structures with stone foundations, fire hearths arranged in organized clusters suggesting family units, thousands of flint stone tools showing specialized production, massive quantities of animal bones from coordinated gazelle hunts, marine shells traded from the Mediterranean coast over 150 miles away, and grinding stones for processing wild grains. A 2016 study published in PLOS One by archaeologist Lisa Maher and her team documented what they call aggregation behavior. Large numbers of people deliberately choosing to live together in one place. During peak occupation periods, Karan F4 housed anywhere from several hundred to over a thousand people at the same time. Just for context, most hunter-gatherer bands max out at about 50 people. This is anywhere from 20 to 50 times larger. So, before farming, and before cities, and before the technological innovations that we thought made settled communities possible, humans were already doing it. Let's go back now and talk about what I mentioned in the beginning, about how school probably taught you history backwards. 